Our next guest has been collecting awards left and right for his role on Barry. We were just talking about that. And we'll always, of course, love him as the one and only Fonz. Welcome back, the co-author of Alien Superstar, already number five on the New York Times bestseller list. Our good friend, Henry Winkler, is in the house. Welcome, welcome. It's Thank always you. such a treat. Thank you. Such a pleasure. People get well, so you know excited what? when the Fonz is around. But no, you know what? So I'm very happy to be here. Aww. I am. I always have a good time in this house. You say that, Thank and we appreciate you. And you that. redecorated for me. We did. We, we did. Happy Halloween. You. you wrapped up the Hank Zipser series. You yes. started a new Well, show. we didn't wrap it up. The publisher said... Okay, that's it for the hang zip. Oh, yeah. Okay, no, okay, yeah. okay. But it was time to move on, and you've moved on fantastically well. Yes. Tell us about Alien Superstar. Lynn Oliver and I yeah. write together in her office every day, and we wrote Alien Superstar. We took uh, aliens, which first of all I love and our children love. Right. Uh, number two, <laughs> we took Hollywood. Uh, children are fascinated by being a star, and what is it to be a star? And my my problems will be over if I just get to be a star. Right. Hmm. Little did I know that's hmm. where they begin. Well, that's right. Yes, right. And we, so we set that hmm. straight. Uh, we have a stranger in a strange land. He is from a small planet. His grandmother wants to get him off that planet because at 13 they cut off all ability to feel and hear and listen and see and enjoy art and culture. She gets him into a rocket ship she builds because she is the master mechanic for the Starfleet. Wow. She cobbles together this spaceship. He takes off. He flies through the galaxy. Oh, I'm in. Oh, no. I'm invested. Come on, keep talking. Saturn, the Milky Way, a satellite with USA on it, and he lands on the only address they know on the Earth, the back lot of Universal Space. <laughs> Where we are? Yeah, right around the corner. Right outside this house. There you go. Who is oh going to question a rocket Nobody. Ship? Nobody's going to question a rocket ship. They're going to think it's part of a set. It's very and so, and the, what you know, um, Gary Marshall always said to me, you know, a lot of people, they write important stuff. They make television important. I do recess. So <laughs> Lynn and I exactly want to be Gary. the book that children want to read in their spare time and are not assigned to read. Oh. Right. You know, we're not the Ivanhoe of literature. The recess, right. the that. recess of reading, and, as, and as Gary Marshall would say. And you've done it with all of your other previous books as yes, well. Yes, and I then mean. there's underpinning, you know, the body shaming. Yeah. Because the star of the television show, The Alien, gets on. Who knew he would be the star of a TV show? But his co-star is a multiracial, beautiful young lady, um, uh, a musician, but her mother is her manager, who uh -oh. says, oh, yes, okay. you could have all the salad you want. Add on some lettuce. Hold the egg. Oh. She counts calories. Oh, no. This poor girl is just torn. And there's bullying in there as well. There's bullying. so much. And what happens if you expose who you really are? Yeah. Will you be accepted? Will you be accepted? Well, I'll tell you what, you have a lot of memories to draw from, considering that you worked on the back lot of Paramount I Studios did. for 11 years <laughs> with the wonderful Gary I, Marshall. I, I directed here. I did a movie here. Oh, my here. goodness. Look at that. I Doing did. Happy Days. And while you were shooting Happy Days on that Paramount lot, yes. Taxi was also shooting yes. there. Little House on the Prairie. Yes. Henry, you have stories for days, I bet. I, it was amazing because uh, uh, at Little House in the, in the Prairie, uh, Melissa Gilbert uh, was nine when I got there. And we would stand at lunchtime when she was on the lot and not somewhere in the prairie. But when she was on the lot, we would have lunch together. And uh, she would, I would say, what are you having? She said, I'm going to have a BLT. I'm going to have bacon, lettuce, and tomato. And I would act out the bacon for her. I'm, I'm sizzling. Is that what's happening? And she loved Every it. day. She looked at I would act out her lunch. And she loved it. She did. That's a and real actor, became, by the gosh, way. I, know. I don't think I can act out bacon. Be a piece of bacon. Gotta work on yeah. that a little bit. Well, you talk about a little bit in the book, Alien Superstar. The alien becomes a superstar. Yes. And um, I know, and works on a television what show. What it's like I to be a superstar. Well, you know. You, yes. I don't know. You know. Yes. But um, you do know what it's like to sort of act opposite one. That's An true. alien. Robin Williams, oh Mork goodness. from Ork, on Happy Days. Okay, wow. You had that. So th this is all kind of coming together a little bit. I remember it, that episode like it was let yesterday. Let me tell you that, uh, and I've said this before, when he opened his mouth, I realized my job is just to get out of this man's way. Wow. Because I'm in the presence of greatness. 
Is that, that is I just got so goosebumps true. right I now. Have goosebumps. But let me ask you this: now, after wow. hearing you talk about it, and I know that you're a big fan of aliens in general. Do you believe aliens really exist? I think that we cannot be the only living people in this vastness of galaxy upon galaxy upon right. galaxy. And I, since I was young, I don't know where it came from. I am convinced an alien will land in my vicinity, and they will be friendly. We are here. And, well, let we are here. I may I look you. human. That's yeah, we why are I friendly. Came. We come in peace. And that's why we're coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Love you so much, Henry. The book, like you said, is, is fun and it's it's really exciting and adventurous, but it does deal with some serious issues. It does. One of them being bullying. And yes. I know this is an, an issue that's very near and dear to your heart because you dealt with this and your stepson I, was in ninth grade yes. with a guy named Frank. 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 Tell us about Frank. Oh, There's a Frank in every class. That's Frank, right. I don't know. Frank must be an alien because he overtook my son's brain. Oh, no, Frank man. said this. Frank does that. I'm not good enough for Frank. Frank would put me down. I, I had a, a, a talk with my son at the kitchen table every night. I said, Jed, you were not put on this earth to be led around by Frank. Yeah. Mm. You are you are better than Frank. And then Frank started a band. And so we went, you know, because in high school you go to yeah, the performance. Sure. That was well, kind I of bought it. my ticket. I'm sitting yeah. there with my mint. And um, Frank is just with the long hair. He's like, I don't know. He's like, mo oh, back and forth. And my son is just standing there playing his guitar. And every eye just went to the quiet Jed playing his music. If that isn't a teaching in itself. That was the power. Yeah. And good for you to help uh, educate but I, I people don't through the book. Frank, and through as you notice. No, no, no. I have you no don't Frank even think in my about body. It. No. But it's your therapy. I'm, I'm, I'm empty. I'm empty You're of Frank. Frank free. Frank free. It's Frank your, free. Your therapy. Frank free. To write about him. Way to go. We always love having you here. Oh, my gosh. We could talk to you all day. Thank you so Frank much, Henry. Alien free. Superstar is now available wherever books are sold.